Hello Tubers, this is Kurt with Edibles and Exotics coming to you from sunny Mesa, Arizona and today I'm going to show you how to make sunblock for your plants. So this is a really good trick for protecting your tropicals. If uh, you can't put up some sort of shade protection, this will help immensely. Um, it's not going to fix all your sun protection issues, but it definitely will help. So it's a very simple process. I did not come up with this on my own. I actually Googled around for sunblock for plants and I found a whole bunch of products that were anywhere from $60 for a tiny little bottle up to like three, 400 bucks. And I did find a guy on uh, YouTube, he had a video and I copied it and it worked out great. Uh, I'm gonna try to find a link to his video to give him some credit because it was his idea. But basically all you're gonna need is blackboard chalk, okay? It's gotta be calcium carbonate blackboard chalk. So you gotta look at the ingredients, okay? I got this on Amazon and it was dirt cheap. So what I do with this is it comes in sticks and I take about five or six of these sticks, all right? And I throw them in a magic bullet and I grind it up until it's a super fine powder. It usually takes about, I don't know, probably two, three minutes, okay? So we got this all ground up and then we need, so we need our powder, all right? We're gonna need a funnel and then we need a spray bottle, all right? So the spray bottle is just regular tap water right out of the, uh, the garden hose. It's filled up to about here. You gotta leave some space, right? Leave a little bit of air in there and you're gonna put a couple of drops of dishwashing liquid in there. It doesn't matter what kind of soap, it's not gonna harm anything because you're barely using any. The purpose of the dishwashing liquid in here is when you spray this on the plant, the soap breaks the surface tension of the leaf and allows these little calcium carbonate particles to settle down into the nooks and the crannies on the leaf and stick, okay? So dishwashing liquid, or a couple of drops of dishwashing liquid, calcium carbonate about I don't know, probably five or six sticks ground up to a super fine powder. It's got to be as fine as you can make it, all right? Fill it up to here with water. And then basically all we're going to do, we're going to unscrew this. And we're going to put our funnel in. Going to open up our container here. You can see the, the dust coming out, all right? And we're just going to sprinkle this in here. All right, get it to go down. This stuff is a fine powder, as you can see. It's dust, and that's what you want. All right, so now we got our powder in there. We're gonna take this, and we're gonna shake it, all right? We're gonna let it sit for a few minutes. It's kind of floating around, it looks like chunks. We're just gonna keep shaking it and then we're gonna let it sit because we gotta let this break down into tiny little dust particles. We don't want clumps in there because when you spray, if you got clumps, it's gonna clog the screen that's at the end of the hose that's attached to the handle. Shake, we're gonna let it sit and we'll come back in a few minutes. All right guys, so it's been a few minutes. I've been periodically shaking, letting it sit letting this stuff dissolve and break down. There's still a little bit in there. I'm probably gonna let it sit a little bit longer. The calcium carbonate is basically the same thing that is in Tums, all right? So it's non-toxic to the plants. It's not toxic to you. You could actually spray it on fruit and it's not, a, not gonna be a big deal for you. Um, the dishwashing liquid, it's so minute, that's not gonna poison you or anything either. Um, I spray this stuff on a lot of stuff. I'll spray it on apples. So the reason behind using calcium carbonate, and this is the exact same mixture that you're gonna get for like 60 plus dollars in a tiny little bottle, but calcium carbonate is one of the most reflective surfaces known to man, all right? Uh, I think silver might actually be the most reflective, but we're not spraying liquid silver, you know, melted down onto plants. <laughs> You're just gonna burn your plants to death, right? And probably start your yard on fire. So this calcium carbonate, when you spray it on, it's gonna go on wet and it's gonna dry in probably like two, three minutes, depending on the temperature. And once it's dry, it's gonna stay on that leaf. And I've had leaves that I've done this to, and I'm gonna show you a little bit later on my orange tree, that I, I actually sprayed some of this on there by accident when I was spraying other plants and we're going back 
Um, these leaves have been on the tree all through last summer and this summer they got rained on, uh, water sprayed on them and everything, and they're still covered in calcium carbonate. So they're still reflecting the UV rays of the sun, all right? So being reflective like it is, it is gonna reflect the sun. Um, it's just like putting sunblock on for you. It's gonna block the UV rays, which uh, damages uh, DNA or RNA or whatever it does. Um, and it's gonna keep the surface of the leaf a lot cooler. So uh, think about uh, if you took uh, zinc oxide, you know, you see these, these old uh, movies and pictures of lifeguards and they got their white nose, all right? That's zinc oxide. They put that on there because it's gonna reflect the sun. It's a, a non-toxic coating that's gonna reflect the sun and keep your nose from turning into a uh, beet red cherry, all right? and it also keeps it cool. This is gonna do the same thing. So it's literally sunblock for plants. So I use this on a lot of plants. You know, if I plant a, a banana and it's not really established yet, and the, the summer's coming and it's gonna be 115 degrees, no shade for months on end, no rain for months on end. I spray this on there and it actually helps immensely. Um, I don't get leaf dieback. They still might curl up and you know, stuff like that. And they might droop a little bit if you don't water it, but they usually don't burn, all right? And like I said, this is never gonna come off. So if you spray a plant with this, it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna have that white film on it until those leaves fall off, all right? The other thing you could do is you could also paint the trunks of, you know, if you got bananas or avocados or anything like that, that's really sun sensitive, you could paint that with trunk paint. So you just get regular white trunk paint or you can get latex, uh, white latex paint that's non-toxic and you can water it down and you can brush it on there. I would recommend using white paint. You can use uh, green and stuff like that, but it's not as reflective. Um, the white is going to be more reflective and it's going to repel the heat. So just like this, you're not going to get the heat build up. So right now I'm going to spray my avocado plant. Um, I do that every year and then I'm going to show you exactly how to do it because there's a little trick with this. Um, you do have to keep it moving because if you let it sit, these particles, they don't dissolve into the water. They float around. They're suspended in solution. They are not dissolved in solution. So you got to keep shaking this up. So as you're doing it, I'll, you'll see I'm going to be shaking, spraying. As I'm, I'm shaking it, I'm going to be spraying. And uh, we're going to let it sit for a little bit. And I'll show you the before and after. You'll see uh, how they go from green leaves to a uh, powdery white leaf. Now, like I said, uh, this stuff stays on. Uh, the wind's not going to blow it off. Rain's not going to blow it off. The only way you're going to be able to get it off is probably washing it off with a sponge. All right, it's, it's going to stick and I'll show you proof of that. So let's go over to the avocado tree and uh, I'll show you exactly how I do this. All right, guys, so here's the avocado tree. All right, I'm going to do a video on how to grow these. I got a request by a viewer not too long ago actually kind of long ago and i feel bad because uh i tried to get the videos that people want but uh just wasn't warm enough wasn't the season and uh i'm finally getting to this video on uh sunblock for plants because that season is coming up and uh it is avocado season so you know uh i was looking at this and uh hope you can see these leaves here they got this white on them this is actually left over from last year this is blackboard chalk and you can see it's actually rubbing off on my hand and it's white underneath so i'll show you the orange tree too but you see all this right here that's from last year all right that's the beginning of last summer so basically what i do with this is i shake this up really really good right like i said you got to keep shaking as you're spraying right and then you just spray it on there it might not look like much but you can actually see it's kind of milky running off okay so we're going to spray this on there all right you don't have to go crazy just spray it on gonna shake a little bit more because you got to keep it mixed up all right and we're just going to keep spraying now these spray nozzles they will clog up like i said if you don't grind this stuff up enough and it doesn't stay as a powder it's gonna clog up so you can start to see it's uh coming out white all right it looks like someone sprayed milk on it but this is the calcium carbonate and you could spray all these leaves so this is another avocado this i think uh my buddy george is going to be taking the one i did the uh, food forest video with i think this is going to go to his house 
This is mine here, the in-ground one. Let's move over to this side here, and we'll just keep spraying. And you only have to do one coat of this, guys. You don't have to go crazy. Shake it up some more. Try to coat every leaf, all right? All right, let's switch hands because it gets tiring pumping. Shake it up, spray it on. You want to try to get all sides of the leaves. Very important. So, you can start to see now. They're starting to turn pretty white, right? Right. So we're going to let this sit and dry for a bit, and then I'll come back and I'll show you exactly what it looks like. And like I said, you don't need to do two coats. Just one coat is plenty. All right, guys, so check this out. This is all dry, or just about dry. And you can see all the leaves are pretty much white. All right. These still are going to allow sun to get through, so you don't have to worry about uh, your plants not photosynthesizing enough. You know, here in Mesa or the Valley of the Sun, Phoenix area, or even Tucson or any desert area similar to ours. We have so much abundance of sun that these plants actually get overloaded. Okay. So, like I said, you could do this on any sun sensitive tropical. Here's George's. You can see all the leaves are covered in that nice white. Okay. And as it goes through the summer, you know, you're not going to see it so much being as blotchy. When it gets wet, it will kind of smooth out and form a nice coat on there. But that's all you got to do. Just remember to shake the bottle up as you're spraying periodically. And make sure you grind it to an ultra fine powder. If there's chunks in there, it's just going to clog up your spray bottle. Okay. And I would not use a cheap spray bottle. I'd try to get something like a Zep spray bottle. You know, they're pretty good quality. And that's pretty much it. So. You guys have any questions on this i don't think i missed anything but if i did just uh leave them down in the comments and uh i'll be sure to answer any of your questions all right guys so i told you about the orange tree and you can see these leaves down here they have kind of a little bit of a white on them right and these i sprayed last year you can see there's still little spots on there there's some more over here a little harder to see on these because it's getting ready to drop these leaves but yeah, there's a couple of leaves that still have white spots on them, okay? So those I sprayed last year, I was spraying some, I think, figs right here, little baby figs, and these guys got hit because they were down low, and there is still chalk on there. All right, guys, so I hope you liked that video. And like I said, I'm going to be doing a video on how I grow avocados here in the valley and how it's not tricky. There's no secret. You don't have to follow all these other people on YouTube growing certain varieties that are supposedly Arizona native and stuff like that. These avocados here, they're a mixture of West Indies, Guatemalan, and Mexican avocados, all right? They're seed grown. Some of them are quite expensive. Some of them are rare, but all of them are growing perfectly fine here. And I'm going to explain how I do these in the next video. So please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, hit the bell, tell all your friends. The channel's growing pretty quick. And uh, I really appreciate all you guys, your, your viewership, your comments, your thumbs up, all that stuff. It's excellent. So until the next video, guys, keep growing.